Hey family, this is Darlene with jurybybdk.com. I'm going to wrap this flat 5x16 washer with gold tone wire, then create a necklace from it. And see, it's very difficult to get it t coiled tight because of the shape of the washer. And I was thinking before, that's, that's still pretty. And I was thinking before I even started with the process of wrapping that it would probably be like that because of the, the way the washer is shaped. That still looks nice. So let's see. Wrap this around here and then I will take it through here. I need to clip and I'll take this one and wrap it around this way so it'll maybe bring that wire closer. Take this one and I'll wire it right here. And then I'll take it through here one more time to fill that part in. And maybe through there. And let's see if maybe I can. Get this part wrapped. See if I can pull it and maybe tuck it. I might have to take it. Yeah, I'm gonna probably have to take it from here because it's not gonna give me enough to tuck in the back. So I need to take this and clip it. Actually, take it and tuck it. I'll take it under there. It's even a little difficult to grab because of the shape of the wire. Let's see. And I need to make sure that it's under there so I can, and that it's wrapped, even if it's tucked really well. Okay. I've got 
got it. So now I can wrap it. And that just broke. But as long as it's tucked under here really well, that'll work. So I need to. Where the writing is up here. So I'm going to take this. And this is where the necklace will hang from. So I'm going to take this wire. I'm going to wrap it here. Right. And you got to be real careful with this wire because it'll break on you. So I'm going to take that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to coil this piece of wire. So I'm going to take it and wrap it from the bottom. And then knowing how much work goes into creating handmade pieces, anytime I go someplace and there is a, and there are people selling handmade items, I never question the price because I, I, I never question the price because I know how much work goes into, you know, creating pieces and making magic happen. You know, so if I like it, I'll buy it. And if I don't, you know, I, I just don't. I never have any comment about what the price is because I don't know what those people pay for their supplies, you know, to make their product. But I do know how much time, energy, and effort goes into, you know, making pieces, especially anything that's handmade. But that will... Yay! Yay, yay, yay. That's what I want right there. Yay, there we go. Exactly what I want it to look like. Exactly what I want it to look like. Exactly, beautiful. So I'm gonna take this wire and bring it up here so that I can tuck it. Ouch. So that I can tuck it up here. And I want to take it and roll it into here so I can tuck. Well, maybe it, I don't think it wants to do that today. So let's just take it all the way around. Hold it. See if I can tuck it into there. Because whatever happens with it, I want to make sure that it's tucked securely. I can push it down as far as I can get it. And this piece, we will take and wrap. I think I'll go ahead and take this up here too. And 
tuck it inside. That's beautiful already. And I love the way the bell looks. This is pretty already. And let's go down and up. Oops. And then what I might do with this part is take it um, figure out I think let me see I might have to if I can do it this way just a little there but then we have this one here that needs to be tucked and maybe I can put it under this part so I will take it mm. and let's see if I can wrap it under here I missed it. I might have to take it back and then try to wrap it under here. Whatever, however, it just needs to be tucked. So it's under that wire. And then that's how we'll have to do it. And I think what I can do is I can uh, wrap some more wire around here. And I'll wrap that wire here and then maybe put, hang it from here. But then I'm trying to see how would I hang it if I... Mm, I can put it right here. Oh, you know what? I almost would have been able to just wrap it around, but I think if there was some way I can I could actually put a if I put more wire and then wire it 
and have it hanging like a dangle. Mm, I don't think I want to do that, so let's see. There might have to be a way I can take the wire. Let's see. And it's all trial and error. I've never wrapped um, a flat washer before, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to do my best to make sure it's a piece that, that I could uh, put in my collection. So let's see, I can take this around and around and around and around. Yep, and just build it up here to where it's a nice... And I think that's what I will do. That's what I love about the wire. It's almost like you can never go wrong with it. So I'll take this part. And then I'm going to take this part and begin to wrap up here. And I'll take it through here. If I can. I hope I can. I'm hoping I can. I'm hoping I can. Uh, maybe I could pull it apart a little bit. Just kind of loosen it. No, it's not going to let me. Um, trying to find an opening. I see one, but it's not like it's big enough to. Uh, that's okay. I'll just. Um, this is what I'll do. I'll take it through. Let me see, maybe if I take it through down here and then go back up. Oops, let me go back up. Okay. Do it that way. Because I want it still in the middle, but I might not be able to do that way. So let's take this out. I don't want it to take away from the center. Okay. That's kind of um let's see if I can move it. Take the wire and I can wrap and wrap. And then I just need to tighten it. So I'll take it and then I want to put this wire, I'm going to twist it together just so it'll make it nice and snug because I'm going to tuck it. wrap this wire even more because I'm going to clip it. See, it broke. That's the thing with the wire we got to be careful with because it, it will break. So what I'm going to have to do is just tuck. And what I was doing is I was trying to uh, twist it together to be secure, but I think I'm going to just have to tuck it under the back here. Which is fine. Oh, and maybe if I could take it here and maybe take it under here. Yep, and then pull it 
Oh, that would be cool. Then we just got that secured on there. Good, and that holds that down. So then I just need to take this piece and maybe tuck it, take it around here maybe. Oh, let's take it around here. somewhere. Oh, let's see. Okay. But then the way this here is here, That is, this is our pendant. Whew. Made out of a 5 by 16 washer. How cool is that so far? So now what I'm going to do is make the, the necklace part really quick. And with some of this video, I'm going to fast forward it because beading is beading and I'm sure you've seen beading more than once. So some of the parts I'm gonna speed up. So this is the pendant made from a five by 16 flat washer.
and y'all just gotta push up just a little bit to loosen the tightness down here because when I wrap the wire I'm wrapping against the bead which pushes it closer to this part so by the time I finish wrapping it's tight down here and it makes it kind of stiff so you always need to kind of push the beads up a little bit and that loosens it and this is our necklace I'll go ahead and finish it up with the uh, closure. So we'll do. And I like the double jump ring. I like the way it looks and then just for extra security. Alrighty, now we're all done. So, let's see what this baby looks like. That's pretty. And this is the finished product. A 516, a 5x16 uh, metal flat washer. We wrapped in 18 gauge wire and then we covered that with a piece of, um, and this is the finished product. How cool is that, right? Now that I know what it looks like with the washers, I'll be doing more of these. I really like the way that came out. I really liked it. And this was my first time wrapping a washer. So we got to do this project together. And I really like it, so I'll be doing more of this. Darlene Knight with uh, jurybybdk.com. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload new videos.